exteriors, roofing, siding, windows, and gutters. All right, we're back about a quarter past five o'clock. 54 degrees outside this morning with the south to southeast breeze at 16. The big change from yesterday, I didn't notice that heavy presence of smoke. Uh, Visibility is better. You can actually see the stars and you're not having to fight all that stuff, at least yet. Again, we're kind of at the mercy of the burn schedule and the folks down to the south in Kansas and southeastern Nebraska. But so far, those south winds bringing in a little bit cleaner air. 54 degrees in Omaha right now. Uh, Lincoln just a little cooler at 50 right now. Columbus, Fremont, Norfolk, all at that common number of 54. And then off to the northeast, one of our cooler spots this morning, Carroll, Iowa at 46. All right, so you can see we're cloud free. We're rain free across our viewing area, the eastern third of Nebraska, western Iowa, northwestern Missouri. However, we do have some action showing up on our exclusive Viper HD radar. Showers, even some embedded thunder from central Nebraska through the Dakotas. It looks like it's headed this way, but again, we got that big blocking ridge of high pressure in place, and that's going to kind of shear this apart. And as the whole pattern just slowly drifts east, we'll gradually see the rain chance increase through the weekend, although most of the weekend will be dry. Rain, we're talking about Saturday, sprinkles or a few showers, probably the same type of thing on Sunday. So just a little bit of nuisance stuff. We do need the moisture. I think better chance for that will eventually come as we head from Sunday night on through Monday and Tuesday. So uh, fingers crossed for that. Otherwise, we'll have to watch to see if we get any smoke back in the air. Otherwise, that could create hazy sunshine. I actually think we will see a little bit of cloud cover later this morning through the afternoon. We should be dry, but some of that cloud debris from the showers to the west will kind of drift across our skies. You can see it here as highs later on today get back in the mid to upper 70s. And some spots could even touch 80 degrees. So we're watching smoke from the fires to the south. We've got a lot of dust in the air because we've been dry. And tree pollen is high right now in mid-April. You can see as we head through the weekend, not much change there. And as far as moisture goes, the majority of that staying west. Uh, we're highlighting tomorrow because we've got the spring game. Maybe a couple of showers. I think kickoff temperatures upper 60s into the low 70s by the end of the game. And uh, if you see any rain, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Kind of nuisance stuff at best. And the majority of that, again, you can see maybe a brief shower here in the metro as well. So for today, again, uh, maybe a little haze if we get some smoke, or we'll call it smoky sunshine. Partly cloudy otherwise. Breezy up to 78 with south winds gusting to 30. Breezy mild tonight as we drop to 57. And then rain chances gradually increase from about 20 to 40 percent through the weekend. Better chances coming up Sunday night on into Monday and Tuesday. Showers, maybe an isolated storm there. Otherwise, you can see the mild weather continues. Even as we cool, we're still in the upper 60s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, back to 73 Thursday. And overnight lows generally stay at or above 50 degrees. So again, with the rain in the forecast early next week, I'll remind you can download Storm Shield to your smartphone. Uh, not a huge severe weather threat with this, but a good app to have again. You get the notifications, you can track any weather threats on radar. And if not this time around, we still have the rest of April, May and June to get through. All right, stay with us. We'll have a look at sports right after the break.